All right, I have started up the recording. As for five. Excellent. <sighs> Six days remain. Dawn of the first day. Uh, <laughs> six times. Uh, I know how math works. Oh, uh, 70, you can move the temple. Hmm? Oh! The temple, on the map, you can move it. Oh, yeah! Wait. <coughs> Goodbye! <laughs> oh my god, we haven't moved in so long. I know! Wait. You haven't moved the yes! temple in over a year! We go! And they're like, wow, it's been like a month since we moved this thing. It's so long. It's been a year. Because last winter binge was the wedding and nothing else. Mm -hmm. yeah. Listen, that was important. It was. No, it's been a year and a half since you've moved the temple. Because the, pre because the binge before that was Daenerys. Yeah. Uh. Don't like that. Evil. Yes. You know, I think I can finally clear up this, th this, this, this. This what? Uh, the, the, the cityscape in the bottom corner of the map. Oh, yeah, probably. Do we think oh, we yeah, can get probably. rid of that? Or do we like it there? It's kind of been there so long, I don't really know what to do without it. Because, like, th this, this red thing here, uh -huh. this was where we met Reza and Jay. It yeah, is. I don't That is how long that's though. been there. At this point, it's too late. We've had this, like, you made this game, you made that cityscape, we met the kids. Uh-huh. Like, it takes up space, and it's, like, definitely junks up the map, but, like, that's where we met them. Mm-hmm. So I don't want to get grab, rid of it. I grabbed Jay and I hovered over a building. This is the tavern. Hmm? This is the tavern where you guys got confused about the road. No, this is the tavern where we were spying on Riza. You're um, right. Do we want to keep... I'm debating cleaning up the map. Do we let's think... worry about that not now. Valid. Map cleanup can happen time. when we're not. Yeah. When we're not recording and currently running on Lena's schedule. That's valid. SMH, it's always you. Dab. So, what do we. figure out how we're gonna spend our Mila card. Yeah. I believe you had some opinions, Tam? Yes, the two main things that we've come up with for spending the Mila card are getting the Cedarwoods troop deployments and getting the equipment for the... and horses for the units that are apparently just in Demut, like in the mines. Mm -hmm. How many people are in there? A hundred. So it's a unit. a unit of Cav. It is one unit of heavy cav, I believe. Elite is that heavy good? cav. Is that really yes. good? Yes! That's incredible. I want it's, it. It's heavy, right? Yes, it is heavy. Okay. It's elite Darian Knights. So it's like... Here, have an amazing unit. Yeah. You know how how uh, we have the elite heavy dwarves from mm -hmm. when we fought uh, Trev? Mm-hmm. It's those, but on horses. And not dwarves. And not dwarves. Fair enough. In other words, a very good unit. I kind of... I'm leaning heavily towards those, because, again, I the troop deployments would be useful, but as I said, I think, a day or two ago, I think I'd overthink with if I had that much information. I think I would, too. Like, it's good to have, but I know myself, mm -hmm. and I know I would overthink myself into a pit. And I know that if... 
the one thing I really wish we knew is where the border guard is, so that we know. The border. Well, yeah, but we don't know exactly where it's sitting. We could probably find that out pretty easy. Armies are hard to hide, but, um, like, I know myself. I would go Stellaris mode and try to take out all of the enemy armies before taking their capital just to make sure that they don't have anything that comes in behind us. Which is wise, but it gives them more time not under siege. You feel? Mm hmm I'm having internal reactions. I feel like our... I cannot relate to you guys. I'm sure. I feel, I feel, like, I feel like you need to uh, loop rhythm, first of all. I think that's the first thing I'm thinking. Uh, the second thing I'm thinking <laughs> is... Is our plan in North Ethereum to, like, take everything that isn't the capital and then just wait for the crusade? Is that the plan? Because the rest of the crusade is going to take a few weeks to get here. Mm -hmm. We've been kind of shoved into a one-week time span because we kind of pissed off the Cedar Woods a lot. Yeah. We kind of, we kind of like, pointed at Silas's outfit and said, what's that? Smacked him on the nose and ran away. Um, and that really bit. pissed him off, so we're kind of having to move quickly. Yeah. I don't know what the plan is. That sounds like a problem for Thanksgiving us. That gives us four months to think about it. It's fine. We stick Cassie in sauce time long enough for her to come up with a plan. Fine. Mm-hmm. That's how most of our plans work. Yeah. It's, uh, it's to simulate the fact that Cassie and Valence are smarter than us. Yeah. And have a lot of really smart friends. Yeah, that's fair. And have training that we don't. It's the sauce time. Sauce time. The sauce time continuum. What? The sauce time continuum. Sauce time continuum. Gosh. Is guacamole a sauce? Um, no, it's a dip. It's too solid to be a sauce. Fair enough. I was going to make a Daryl joke, but I don't know what the joke was, and it was dependent on guac being a sauce. Salsa a sauce? No, it's a salsa. It's a dip. It's also too solid. A lot of salsas are about as runny as something you'd drizzle over, like, a burrito. Which I would argue makes it a sauce. Can we please have this argument yesterday? <laughs> I think we're gonna want to spend the Mila card on the troop equipment. Because I'm not... I'm not sure that we have enough troops unless we wait for the Crusade. And I'm not sure we can afford to wait for the Crusade. Because keep in mind, we're attacking a place with a wizard who has ninth level spells. Mm -hmm. If we just sit outside their city, we're going to lose our troops. Yeah. Because she will open the window, cast 30 fireballs, sleep, and do it going again. Going to be real, you're taking Clock Bond by assault or not at all? Yeah. What, what the hell is the rest of the plan? What? what, what? Yeah? Uh, he's saying instead of, like, a siege. Like, sure, you're gonna sit there and you are you might build a siege something to knock over the walls or to climb up onto the walls, but you're not going to sit outside the wall and wait for them to surrender. You're going to need to find a way into the no. city 
in about a week that's or not, two. That's not fun. Yeah. Uh, assault or not, by assault or not at all, is a military term for additional drama. Um, mm. it basically, you'll have a week sitting around the city, tops. And then you need to make your way in. Yeah, I wasn't gonna just park around the city for no goddamn reason. Ah, it doesn't exhaust them all supplies, was... but they're also skeletons, so... Yeah, yeah, I'm like, there's skeletons, and also, if I park myself around the city, Delilah's gonna peek out the window, and she's gonna hold a meteor swarm for ten minutes, and then she's gonna decimate my army, and then she's gonna go take a nap. Mm-hmm. This has just been kind of an understood part of it from the beginning, is mm -hmm. if we sit there for more than, like, a little while, Delilah's gonna get tired of it. Mm-hmm. I think she has enough standards to not immediately blast us the moment she sees us, but, like, uh, when she's tired of us, She yeah. doesn't. But, well, she has standards. Her SPH. standards don't include just blasting you the moment she sees you. Uh, the good news is that you have an Equus. And Equus is yes. saying no blasting the moment you see them. <laughs> I'm, I'm counter spell spec. <laughs> I do think it's deeply entertaining that when we get into a mass combat, I was like, I'm going to cause problems on purpose. And Echo's like, actually, you're not going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to cause Delilah, loudly grumbling and, ugh, I have to keep this wizard busy. Equus. Ugh, the Archmage. Yeah. No, Equus is snickering and, <laughs> I'm distracting you. Mm-hmm. Uh... Wait, what? Um, they can probably start mustering their other army at the Colossus Pelorum. Uh, basically, the Crusade has two armies. They're sending one forward. The, they're sending the elites forward uh, of six units. They've got another ten or so that are walking. So they can muster their second army there. I will, like, direct you to the opposite side of the board from the party. The large portraits there. Laughs in Orlad Cain. Yeah, he's marching a whole army around somewhere. Kea had an army, and you got rid of the Kea in the army, and that definitely helps, but the...
Yup. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> so, you're spending... Okay, I shall do the same. Okay. We're good to go. This isn't an either or. This is a you only have one Mila card. If you can figure out how to get the other some other way. Welcome back. The audacity of that would be amazing in reference to uh, calling up Silas and asking for the troop deployments. Who else might have that information and you think could be turnable? Is very true. I hadn't considered that you have him.
Um, you did spend, hmm, you spent a day teleporting around. If you uh, try and go for Gehir first thing this morning, you might beat them back. You have one up of the cedar woods are currently distracted. So you could break into the castle, you could abduct your hair, you could do a variety of things. That would go poorly, I think. I enter a dispassionate killing spree and...
So, have we decided that the Mila card is going to be expended on getting the cavalry equipment? Okay. Well, uh, do we want me to try to play Mila, or shall we just leave this somewhat abstracted? All right, Mila can appear, and you request that she uh, solve one of your. You've determined which problem you'd like her to solve. Hmm? You made a. As you mentioned the uh, cavalry and the gear, and she's like, I thought that was, was what you'd pick. I'm already partway through doing that. We found a nice herd. A nice herd of totally wild horses. No, no, she's taking the North Dirian horses. She's taking the equipment from them, but yeah. Uh huh. <coughs> 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 I've never disagreed, dear. Everyone turns to look at Valence. <laughs>
Nope. Emrys is just going to round on him like, and you left this. Emrys, and you left this part out of the story. You left it out of. I was watching you, and you left it out of that. What else did you leave out of that chase, Caspian? All right, fair, but what? Were there more than one? Was there more than one purple worm? Remember, Caspian was neglecting to mention some of the scarier parts to her during the chase. Emrys rounds on him like, hey, wait a minute. I don't remember if she knows about... Alright, does it get worse? Alright, fine. And she will walk over and just hug him because No I don't want to lose Caspian. Uh, no, but you're not a willing to participant of a teleport if... <laughs> Honestly, I don't know how that would work. And you'd also need to fail the will save. Yeah. And the fort... Mm-hmm. Uh, unless they're unconscious. He didn't look like a vampire. He looked kinda like a vampire.
that could work. Oh, no, that's what I'm looking for. I want to build an army. That's what we should be listening to. Because we've booted up, so we need other music. But... All right, and so we can go ahead and leave the recording here.